A scream that Jody Sue heard still bothers me to this day. Was there really a scream, or did Jody Sue completely make that up? Let's say for a second there was a scream that day, the moment Summer was grabbed by someone and taken down that hill into a vehicle. It's interesting how Jody Sue heard it, and Candace and Grandis heard nothing, yet they were outside the house. The Wells family lives across the street from a neighboring property. On mirroring mountains, together they can be described as sentinels which sit high over Ben Hill Road. The night Summer went missing, the neighbor swears that she and her two children heard a scream shortly before they joined the search for a now missing Summer Wells. It's there, but you want to forget. On the watch and hyper vigilant. And, uh, That's how Jody Sue Brown was the very day Summer Wells went missing. There was no TV, no noise at all. Jody Sue was in her cabin with her teenage kids, 19 and 14, waiting for anything. We were kind of hyper alert um, because of property things that had happened the day before. So we were listening for noise. Everything was kind of quiet. The sale brought a plethora of people to their door, confused about which piece of land was for sale, leading to a dispute of property lines. While we were out at one point doing survey lines, and there was a flash of a car that went up Candace and Donnie's driveway, something about it struck me wrong. She and her family next heard a truck door slamming and dismissed it as their neighbors. The next sound was harder to justify. About an hour and a half before Summer is thought to go missing, Jody Sue, her son, and her daughter heard something far more suspicious. A scream. Stopped all three of us cold. Her daughter was the first to go to the cabin door. Then all three were there listening still. We heard just this kind of shrill, almost animalistic scream. Animalistic, but not an animal. Knew it was, you know, wrong. It wasn't a dog, it wasn't an animal. That vigilance kicking into overdrive. Jody Sue and her son went out to look for the source of the scream. My son and I decided to go out, look and see what we could see. We went back onto the bank, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. They went on with their evening. The kids returned to being kids. Jody Sue headed down her driveway around six to tend to flowers. And at this point, I start hearing Candace hollering for summer. And then my brain immediately went, you know, scream earlier this, uh-oh. Jody Sue was the first to hear those calls and the first to join the search for summer. I dropped my purse. I tried to yell up at Candace. I was like, you know, I'm looking and I started looking. Jody Sue searched one side of a creek, summer's brothers the opposite side. Oh. And you gave statements to the police, right? Oh, absolutely. Jody Sue had been interviewed many times by investigators, bringing up the scream often. But the sheriff doesn't believe the scream is related to the disappearance of Summer Wells. She's been interviewed numerous times by not only my agency, but the TBI and FBI. And we don't find anything with that complaint or information related to this case. Jody Sue wishes she could go back to just a short time before Summer disappeared and before the scream she believes was Summer. I wish every day that when I heard that scream, I hadn't tried to dismiss it. Referencing the work of the FBI, TBI, and his own deputies, Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson reiterated in an interview the same week as Jody Sue's that investigators have found absolutely no proof that an abduction has taken place. Sheriff Ronnie Lawson says the scream was unfounded, but what made him come to that conclusion? It's a huge red flag for me that Jody Sue inserted herself into the Summer Wells case, claiming that she heard a scream, and then made some really disturbing claims about Andy Bernard told her daughter where Summer's body is. Is she just making all this stuff up for views? Surely if there was any truth to this, the authorities would be all over it. Well, at least I hope so. Jody Sue had made lots of accusations against the Wells, starting with Don and Summer taking showers together. She saw Summer come out of the shower without any clothes on, asking for a towel. She said that Candace put alcohol in the kids' sippy cups, and the list goes on and on. Jody Sue sure made a lot of accusations so one day if Don and Candace are charged with something, even if it is neglect charges regarding the boys, I bet Jody Sue will be called as a witness.